So I'm doing this because it's time to get a life for me. I want to have a good life. Sometimes in life, a person just needs a chance. A chance to try something new. A chance to learn a new skill. A chance to prove to themselves and to others that they can do it. We just need to stretch this out and make sure that the holes line up so that we're not putting it on upside down or anything. This summer, hundreds of Idaho kids got that chance as part of the Idaho Youth Corps Summer Program. The program gave more than 800 disadvantaged and at-risk kids paid summer jobs and a chance at a better life. A lot of the kids, it's their first job, but they're all great workers and they give us something to do and we get it done quick and we do a good job too. They've shown up every day, good attitude, worked hard all day, uh, and been real conscientious about the work they've done. Working under skilled supervisors eager to help them succeed, these young people are learning new skills and getting a real-life work experience that will change the course of their futures. Andrew Miller is a crew leader for an Idaho Youth Corps team that is sanding down and cleaning up the wild horse corrals near Boise for the Bureau of Land Management. I think there is some good satisfaction out of, you know, just getting your hands dirty and doing work that not everyone does every day, you know. So I enjoy it, and I, I'm pretty sure the kids do too. You, uh, you learn a lot of patience when you're with kids. Try to bump the blue one and make it bounce over here. See if you can do that. That would be pretty sweet. You have to be able to, like, improvise when certain situations come up. Oh, nice shot. Especially if you want to be a leader, because you learn to be a leader here when you're working, telling people what they need to do or what they can do to make themselves better and to be a good example, because you always have to be a good example in front of the kids or else it's, it just doesn't turn out well. Idaho Youth Corps summer jobs range from child care work to conservation projects to indoor office work to science and technology jobs. So in biological systems, what we do here is we try to solve the energy, energy crisis. Breck Stevens jumped at the chance to earn $7.25 an hour working at the Idaho National Laboratory near Idaho Falls. This program has showed me a lot of opportunities that I didn't really know were out there. It helped me realize that I might want to do something in the field of science, probably biological science or physics, somewhere along those lines. The Idaho Department of Labor runs the program matching Youth Corps workers with government and nonprofit organizations across the state. Funding comes from nearly $3 million in federal stimulus money. Through the Department of Labor, we've had six girls that have come to help us this summer in our day camp program. I'm up, I'm down. Altogether, about 250 work sites benefited from the windfall of federally funded labor. In a program like ours, we are a not-for-profit organization, so every dollar counts. Um, we have one counselor that works with 12 kids. And sometimes kids just need more one-on-one -on -one attention than that. And it's been so nice to have these girls here who have been role models and that extra hand to help with sunscreen or with glue or with whatever we're working on. They have been absolutely fabulous to be here and help us. The kids, ages 14 to 24, learned how important it is just to show up on time, to develop relationships, cooperate with others, show initiative, work safely, and get the job done. I get you starting with thistles down there. Thistles just spread out. John Hagedorn just returned from 15 months of service in Iraq. Now, as an Idaho Youth Corps crew leader, he's chasing down a different kind of enemy. Noxious weeds choking out the native plants along Five Mile Creek in Meridian. It's really hard getting these guys out because you have to get down to the roots. So really, it's just, a, it's just manual. It's just a lot, of, a lot of hard, hot work. The Idaho Department of Labor's youth employment programs are funded by the U.S. Department of Labor under the Workforce Investment Act. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009 reinvigorated the program and helped connect hundreds of Idaho's young people with the rewards of a job well done. We're all avid Idahoans and we love our state and I think doing this we can finally take a part in making things better. We actually improve things. We can actually have a solid, like a tangible result of our efforts. Oh, I think it's amazing what they're doing and, and also the ownership they'll take in the project. Something that will bring them back and say, you know, I created a legacy, I had a hand in that, and um, that's what this experience, what we envisioned it to be about. So it's, it's a pretty cool opportunity for our youth to, to be involved and to learn job skills that they can apply in, um, futures, in, the, in their future. Thanks for your service. And when the state's top boss pats you on the back, it makes the job even more satisfying. Well, in a larger sense, you know, the fact that you got over 800 
of our youth uh, out working, uh, doing projects that are going to be great for the communities like this, add to the value of the community, the appreciation of the, of the uh, community. You know, I, I think that's great. I don't know where we can spend our money better. To learn more about the Idaho Youth Corps program, go to labor.idaho.gov and find out how you can give Idaho youth a chance to succeed.